certainly fun to win. I was very uh, proud of our guys' defensive effort. Uh, we needed to improve our field goal percentage defense, especially from the three-point line. And against a very dangerous team, uh, held them to 27% from the three-point line, 38 from the field. I thought our defensive energy was terrific. Uh, we contested shots and uh, did a good job of uh, rebounding the misses. Uh, Pop, Rob, you know, great games. I can't believe Rob had six assists, one turnover. Um, you know, he must have somebody at the table who's – He's friendly with us. I've never seen him get six assists before, but he was really doing a good job of feeding Pop. And, um, you know, there are a couple things we need to work on. Or, or, uh, we, we had 19 turnovers, and that's not typical for us, and our zone offense needs to get brushed up a little bit. But uh, it was a great effort against this scary team. Uh, this team had Vanderbilt on the ropes at halftime. Uh, they had UNT on the ropes two nights ago. Uh, they can really get it going and they don't quit. And, and we had to beat them, and I think that we did that. Any questions? Nicole's mom, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> um, you changed your starting lineup a little bit. What was the. Well, I, I didn't feel like we were getting defense we needed. And uh, Justin and Ryan are two of our best defenders, so I wanted a little more size to contest the three point line and uh, a little more patience on offense. And that's why I made that change. And I think it was a good, uh, you know, little learning experience for Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah, his defense and decision making wasn't great at Louisiana Tech. And he understood that being a freshman, you know, you go through some highs and lows and um, we just needed to be more patient. And I think with our patience, we shot 61% from the field and 55% from the three point line. Uh, and still scored, you know, 71 points. So uh, I thought our patience was good. We had too many turnovers, um, uh, but uh, credit their defense too. But uh, that's the, the main reason, the two reasons, patience on offense and a little bit more uh, length on the defensive end. 18 of your 44 shots were threes. Um, is that something that you'd like to continue or as the season goes along and, you, and Jeremiah gets more accustomed to Getting the ball inside, do you try? Do you envision hammering it down low more to Pop? Well, Pop had 15 shots, and, and uh, I think the mix was good. You know, I, I, I don't think we we want Pop to touch the ball more than inside, more than anybody. Because if, if he doesn't get a good shot, he's such a good passer and unselfish out of the post that that'll make the outside shots that much easier. We want layups, we want drives, we want to get fouled. Um, we, we probably sh should have gotten to the foul line a little bit more, but the zone, I think, kept us off the line in the second half. So that mix is, is, is pretty good. You know, we're, we're not a big power team. Um, we've got pop inside, and, and I think we've got some pretty good shooters. Justin is shooting the ball better, but one of the things he does very well is drive the basketball, um, and I'd like to see him get fouled more. But, uh, you know, I, I think that's a pretty good mix for us. How has this team changed since uh, the first game of the season? I think our defensive identity has gotten a lot better since TCU. We, we slipped a little bit, Louisiana Tech. Um, we've gotten it back hopefully tonight. Uh, and I think we're more uh, comfortable with their offense. Um, so uh, I think those two areas, uh, the defensive identity, we're playing a matchup zone. Uh, that's who we are. Uh, I've tweaked with it, tinkered a little bit, probably too much. Um, and I think offensively, we're, we're finding our groove a little bit, and hopefully we can do that uh, through to the new year and beyond. How about working with your new assistant coaches? How's that? Oh, it's great. They're good guys. You know, the thing that I enjoy, um, and then with that, I visited with Steve Lutz this morning. He was in town recruiting, and, and it's always good to develop, you know, relationships, keep relationships. But I've known Jerry and Larry for 20, 25 years, and they're – they're not only great coaches, but they're good friends. And, um, you know, we laugh at the same stupid stuff. You know, they're from New Jersey, I'm from New York, and we laugh at stuff that, you know, other people, you know, just like anybody. You know, things from Texas, things from Colorado, things from the West Coast, things from the East Coast that other people don't laugh at. And uh, so it makes it fun for me. And, and I think that carries over to the practice floor and hopefully carries over to the locker room. And I think hopefully the guys see that and, and they are relaxed, but yet focused and intense. Rob had most of his points in the first half. Um, 
and Pop had most of his in the second. Was, was that because Rob was hitting everything and so Pop was just feeding him out of the low post or was you Rob know, shooting more because Pop was struggling a little? I, I think most people are going to focus on Pop in the first half. Like when you see us run a pick and roll, everyone die. Like if you watch film, you'll see everybody dive in on Pop. So that leaves the perimeter open. And, and then in the second half, when they went to the zone, I thought we did a really good job for the first several possessions of getting the ball into Pop against the zone. And Rob was the main guy, because we like Rob and Pop to get on the same side. And they could have a little two-man game. And Rob really fed Pop with some nice passes. Um, so uh, it's not by design. We always want to get the ball inside the Pop. We don't want to forget Pop. Because uh, once the ball goes into him, he's either going to get fouled, score, or uh, find open shooters. You've talked several times about what a good passer Pop is. Is Rob an underappreciated passer as well? Is, or is uh, he getting there? Uh, probably underappreciated ball handler, although he, he um, you know, made a couple of, you know, under, he's gotten better at ball handling. Um, I don't think, um, you know, he's not had the reputation as a passer uh, because he's such a good shooter. But I'll take six assists, one turnover, you know, seven of eight, three of three, five of six, you know, uh, he had four steals. Golly, I hate praising that kid too much. <laughs> Get the big head, uh, but what you know? What a great game, and and he didn't shoot the ball well the other night. But I think 27 minutes is his range. Once he gets into 30s, he gets fatigued, and then that takes the legs out of the shot, and then you'll see more turnovers and, and some some uh, decisions that aren't as sharp. You guys have two weeks off till your next game. What? With finals and everything, what's your schedule like? Uh, I'll go out uh, recruiting. Um, some a lot of high school tournaments going on, so it's a good break, um, and and uh, the kids get a little rest, uh, but yet still do some conditioning, and uh, we'll have less practice time because they've got to focus on their grades and their their exams. But it'll be a good time to get better, and I think get better at tightening the screws offensively, zone offense and our defense continue to improve. But I, tonight was a step in the right direction with our defense. Okay. Everybody good? All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate it. <laughs>